I, I think the logistical challenges. Um, we're buying everything basically from around the world. And while that gives us great choice, getting the stuff here can be notoriously difficult. But that's okay. You know, we go, okay, well, we're not going to have those items by the time we needed them. So what's our plan B? What's our plan C? I don't think you can ever achieve plan A in the bold days. I, if I get plan B, I'm excited. But around plan C, I'm okay about it as well. Listen, I, as, a, as a destination, we have to spend more. Uh, Maldives revolves around tourism. We spend very little compared to another other destinations, Seychelles, uh, uh, Mauritius. You know, we, we, if you look at around all these uh, competitive destinations, we spend very little on tourism to bring that business up. There's, there's always two ways of doing this. You, you build the, the airport or the gateway first and then you start building the hotels. Or you build all the hotels first and, and again, you can't do it all at the same time, obviously. Um, yeah, look, I'm excited to see a new uh, airport. It is badly needed. Um, the, the second uh, runway was badly needed so that, you know, the aprons we can I think you can only land four planes an hour now, we'll, then we'll get up to 12, or well, I can't remember what the figures were, but it gives us a lot more ability. But it's also, it's the first impression that our guests get when they arrive into this country. It is such a key thing. Um, I have to say, in terms of the service and how people are received, it's much better now than it was seven years ago. Um, you know, and I think uh, you know, immigration, you know, they're smiling. And, you know, I, I, I've, I've been really uh, happy when I've come through, uh, seeing the interaction as well. Uh, and, and, you know, immigrate, these guys may work directly for immigration, but they are our, our ambassadors to the tourism walking in. So, you know, that, that's a good thing. But I think that also has to be a strong focus, the services. If you look at uh, 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 Changi Airport, for instance, you know, they have specialised training on how to you know, look after the customer because they see that as such an importance and it is. Um. Yeah, the Maldives is a bucket list location. It is an incredibly special location in the world. It's known for that, known for the honeymoon, uh, known for the one, one island, one resort uh, concept. Well, that's gone now. Um, you know, so it's changing. And, and look, you know, with, with development comes change and, and we have to change with that. Um, but I think we have to be very careful in how we develop. How do we continue to look after our environment? You know, what safeguards are put in? Um, you know, staffing, for instance. I mean, trying to reach 45% parity. Now, we're doing that at the moment. But every new hotel that opens up requires a minimum of 200 Maldivian staff. Where are they coming from? They're not here. So, so how do I run a hotel and meet my parity when I don't have the staff to pull on? Um, you know, we're Universal runs a foundation and we're doing a lot of training and, and putting recruits and trainers on board, but it's just not going to be enough. And, and I know there's a number of other organisations doing the same. Which is great. I think we do have to take responsibility um, as as an operator to to teach our youth, um, you know, have a good relationship with our local islands and, and try and encourage that. But it's still not enough. The population's not big enough. So I think that specific thing will have to be reviewed. You know, the the, the quota system, the the thing. These are all frustrations that take so long to get started as well. So. Um, yeah, it, it's it's an unknown. It's exciting to see what may happen, but I'm also a little bit worried about you know, that development and what is it going to look like, and so that it doesn't destroy what is special out there. Right?